All right, everyone, and welcome to part three of my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection VHS and Laserdisc Collection, in which for this part, we will be taking a look at the 1997 and 1998 releases that are part of the Masterpiece Collection lineup. And let's get started, shall we? We'll start off by looking at two different VHS copies of the Masterpiece Collection Edition of Bambi. This is the fully restored 55th Anniversary Limited Edition, and this is also the very first Disney VHS release to be THX certified. And of course... It's got the ink label here, and the print dates and uh, the print dates and early printing from December tenth, nineteen ninety six. And this VHS of Bambi opens with the green FBI warning screens from nineteen ninety one. Then it's got the Walt Disney Company intro, and then after that, it's got theatrical trailers for Hercules and George of the Jungle. Then it's got home video trailers for The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Then a Disney Interactive promo for The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Disney's animated storybook, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, that is, as well as The Hunchback of Notre Dame topsy-turvy games on CD-ROM. And then after that, it's got the Stay Tuned After the Feature bumper, then after this, it's got the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen. Basically, the alternate version still has the same animation style and the same music as heard in the original version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen, except instead of Mark Elliott saying, and now our feature presentation, this time it's Bo Weaver, and he was the announcer who announced the trailers in the Walt Disney Company intro at the time, and this time, Bo Weaver says, thanks for joining us for this special preview, and now our feature presentation. Toy Story was the very first Walt Disney Home Video release in general to use this version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover. However, this VHS of Bambi is the very first release in the Masterpiece Collection lineup to use the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover. And then on this VHS release of Bambi, after it has the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen, it's got the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, and then after that, it has the THX logo, which says Digitally Mastered on this VHS of Bambi. This is the only Masterpiece Collection edition in general to use the digitally mastered version of the THX logo. Then after that is the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and then we go right to the film. And now here's this VHS copy. Packaging's the same. Same label with a print date of December 12th, 1996. And it opens the same way. And 
end. And of course, I also have the 1997 Laserdisc release. Now, the Laserdisc copy of Bambi from 1997 that I have opens with the green FBI warning screens. Then it has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, but with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. Then it's got the THX Laserdisc logo, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and then this has the RKO logo on the Laserdisc, and then it goes right to the film. Even though the VHS does not have the RKO logo, but the Laserdisc does, and that is very, very cool. Now, I'm going to show you two different VHS copies of the Hunchback of Notre Dame Masterpiece Collection Edition. Here is this copy. And This has an ink label, and the print date is January 7th, 1997. And this tape of The Hunchback of Notre Dame contains the, 19, contains the green FBI warning screens from 1991, then the Walt Disney Company intro, then after that, it's got a Walt Disney World promo, for which is Remember the Magic. After that, it's got the... Theatrical trailers for Hercules and George of the Jungle. And then after that, it's got home video trailers for Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves and the live-action 101 Dalmatians. Then the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover. Then the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, the green format screen. And then the Walt Disney Pictures logo and then the film. Here's this copy. Packaging's the same. Same label. Print date is April 10th, 1997. And it opens the same way. And I also have the Laserdisc release from 1997, which, unlike the VHS, the Laserdisc is THX certified, and the Laserdisc copy of The Hunchback of Notre Dame from 1997 that I have opens with the green FBI warning screens from 1991. Then it has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. Then after that, it's got the THX Laserdisc logo, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo. Then we go to the film. Now, these next two Disney VHS releases, I do not have Laserdisc editions for. So I only have the VHS releases of those next two 
VHS tapes that I'm going to show you next. And and yeah, there's the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And now, now I'm going to show you two different VHS copies of the 1997 Masterpiece Collection Edition of Fun and Fancy Free. First, we're going to take a look at this copy. And it's the fully restored 50th anniversary limited edition that's THX certified. It has an ink label, and the print date is May 22nd, 1997. And this copy of Fun and Fancy Free opens with the 1991 green FBI warning screens and the Walt Disney Company intro. Then after that, it's got a trailer for the re-release of The Little Mermaid. Then it's got home video trailers for Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin, Mary Poppins, Sleeping Beauty, and Old Yeller. And then after that, there is a Disney Interactive promo for Disney's Magic Artist. Then there's the Wonderful World of Disney promo. Then the Stay Tuned After the Feature Bumper. And then the alternate version of the Lilac Blue Feature Presentation Screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover. Then the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. The THX logo, which this time says Lucasfilm Limited on this release. And all other Masterpiece Collection editions of other films released on VHS. And then after the THX logo on Fun and Fancy Free, it shows the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and then the RKO logo, and then we go right to the film. Now, we'll look at this copy. This has the same packaging and same label, and the print date is the same. It's actually, the print date is also May 22nd, 1997. It's actually the same. And it opens the exact same way. I do not have a laser disc edition of Fun and Fancy Free, so we're going to go straight to the next VHS release that I have. But even though I do not have the laser disc of Fun and Fancy Free, somebody uploaded the opening to the laser disc of Fun and Fancy Free from 1997. And according to the video, the laser disc copy of Fun and Fancy Free from 1997 is a green FBI warning screens. The Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. The THX Laserdisc logo, 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, the RKO logo. And we go to the film. Next up, I have the 1997 Fully Restored Limited Edition Masterpiece Collection Edition of Mary Poppins that is THX certified on VHS. And... And 
this copy is an ink label. And the print date is July 29th, 1997. And this copy of Mary Poppins opens with the 1991 Green FBI Warring Screens and the Walt Disney Company intro. And then after that, it's got a trailer for the re-release of The Little Mermaid. Then after that, it has the Wonderful World of Disney promo. And then it has a trailer for Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. And then home video trailers for Sleeping Beauty, Old Yeller, and The Jungle Book. And then it's got a trailer for The Toys to Save Christmas and... And then after that, it has a Disney Interactive promo for Disney's animated storybook, 101 Dalmatians. Then the Stay Tuned After the Feature bumper. And then the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover. Then the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. Then the THX logo, green format screen. 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, then we go right to the film. Next up, I'm going to show you two different VHS copies of the 1997 Masterpiece Collection Edition of Sleeping Beauty, the fully restored limited edition that's THX certified. First, we'll look at this copy. And... It, and I also have a laser disc of Sleeping Beauty from 1997 that I will show you right after I show you the two VHS copies. Here's the VHS tape with the ink label and the print date is July 16th, 1997. And this tape of Sleeping Beauty opens with the 1991 Green Epi Warning Screens, then the Walt Disney Company intro, and then after that, it's got a trailer for the re-release of The Little Mermaid. And then after that, it's got a home video trailer for Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. Then it's got home video trailers for Old Yeller, Alice in Wonderland, and The Jungle Book. Then it's got a trailer for George of the Jungle, and then a Disney interactive promo for Disney's Magic Artist that is also shown on Fun and Fancy Free. Then it has the Wonderful World of Disney promo, and then of course the Stay Tuned After the Feature bumper, and then the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover. Then the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, the THX logo, the green format screen, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, the Buena Vista logo, and the film. And here is this copy. And this has the same casing and everything. Same label. Print date is July 27, 1997. 
And this copy opens the exact same way. And of course, as I've already mentioned, I also have the Laserdisc release of Sleeping Beauty from 1997. And the Laserdisc copy of Sleeping Beauty that I have, the Laserdisc copy of Sleeping Beauty that I have opens with the 1991 Green Up BI warning screens. And then it has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. Then it's got the THX Laserdisc logo. And then the... 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, the Buena Vista logo, and then the film. All right. Now I'm going to be showing you two different copies of the 1997 30th Anniversary Limited Edition Masterpiece Collection Edition of The Jungle Book. First, we're going to look at this copy, which I believe I got this at Goodwill. And here is the tape with the ink label, of course. And the print date on this copy is August 4th, 1997. And this copy of the Jungle Book opens with the 1991 green FBI warning screens. Then it's got the Walt Disney Company intro and a trailer for the re-release of The Little Mermaid. Then it's got a trailer for Flubber with Robin Williams. Then after that, it's got home video trailers for Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, Peter Pan, or Pita Pan, 4,000, as some people call it. Then there's a trailer for Hercules, or Hercules, 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 again, as some people call it. Then after that, it's got a home video trailer for The Toys Who Saved Christmas. And then after this, it's got a Disney Interactive promo for Nightmare Ned on CD-ROM. And then it has the Wonderful World of Disney promo and the Stay Tuned After the feature bumper, and then the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover, then the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, the THX logo, and then this copy contains the green format screen after the THX logo and before the Walt Disney Pictures logo. And then after the green format screen is shown on this copy, it goes to the Walt Disney Pictures logo and then 
we go right to the film. And I also have this copy. Same casing, same label. Print date is August 11th, 1997. And this copy of the Jungle Book opens the exact same way, except that after the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, it contains the THX logo, and then it goes straight to the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and then it goes to the film. And I also have the 1997 Laserdisc release of the Jungle Book, which I will go get right after I put those VHS tapes away. The VHS tapes put away, and now, of course, Now, we can look at the 1997 Laserdisc release of The Jungle Book that I also have, in which I have already uploaded the opening to this particular Laserdisc of The Jungle Book back on Internet Archive, in which this Laserdisc copy of The Jungle Book from 1997 opens with the green FBI warning screens, then it has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. Then it's got the THX Laserdisc logo, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, then it goes to the film. And it wouldn't be until the 1999 DVD release where the Buena Vista logo would appear before the film starts. Unless you count the demo VHS of The Jungle Book from 1991, that also has the Buena Vista logo on it. And if I forgot to mention when I did part two of my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection VHS and Laserdisc Collection, when I showed off the VHS copy of Pocahontas with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo, I also uploaded the opening to that VHS copy of Pocahontas with the Walt Disney Classics logo up on Internet Archive four years ago, if you want to see it. Of course, it was printed on December 14th of 1995 on that copy of Pocahontas, but that was the 1997 Laserdisc of the Jungle Book. And... Before I show off the next release, I'm going to... Alright. Alright, everyone. Now, before I show you the next release and get to the 1998 releases, we are going to imagine what it would be like if Alice in Wonderland did get a re-release in 1997 on the same day the Jungle Book was released. Because on the Sleeping Beauty VHS, it advertised for Alice in Wonderland coming to video on October 14th of 1997. But unfortunately, Alice in Wonderland did not get re-released on that day, and only the Jungle Book did. However, we are going to imagine what it would be like if Walt Disney Home Video released a fully restored, limited edition, 1997 VHS release of Alice in Wonderland, released on the same day as the Jungle Book VHS release, that is also THX certified for Alice in Wonderland. Now,
my idea for a 1997 VHS version of Alice in Wonderland, fully restored, limited edition, that is THX certified, is this. So, if Walt Disney Home Video did release a fully restored limited edition of Alice in Wonderland in 1997 that is THX certified, I would imagine the front cover for the 1997 fully restored limited edition VHS of Alice in Wonderland that's THX certified to look almost like the classics edition of Alice in Wonderland. But, here's what will be different. There will be a red banner that says Fully Restored Limited Edition, similar to the VHS of Mary Poppins front cover, except with a red banner instead of a purple banner. And it would basically have the same cover art, Alice, the Mad Hatter, and the March Hare having a tea party right there. From the Classics Edition VHS release, the same cover art. But it will have a red border that reads the words Walt Disney's Masterpiece in orange. And then it'll use the same words, Alice in Wonderland, in the same font as the Classics Edition VHS of Alice in Wonderland. Now for the spine, I would imagine the 1997... Oh, and, and let's not forget this. Unlike the Classics Edition of Alice in Wonderland, which says the original animated classic... For the 1997 Fully Restored Limited Edition VHS, it will have the THX Certified logo on the right, right there where the Classics Diamond was in the Classics Edition. For the Fully Restored Masterpiece Collection Edition, that's where the THX logo will be placed. And as for the spine, I would have the spine look pretty much almost the same. It'll use the same blue background in the spine, except the Classics Diamond and the Walt Disney Home Video logo would be replaced with the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo on the spine. Right there. And instead of having Alice in a character profile picture in a diamond, It'll have Alice in a border at the bottom, taking place of Mary Poppins. And the title would read Alice in Wonderland. And as for the tape label, I would imagine the... 1997 Fully Restored Limited Edition Masterpiece Collection Edition of Alice in Wonderland to look very similar to this label, except it'll say Alice in Wonderland in the label. And as for how the 1997 Fully Restored Limited Edition Masterpiece Collection Edition of Alice in Wonderland would open up, I would imagine three different versions of the tape and how they would open. One version of the Fully Restored Limited Edition Masterpiece Collection Edition of Alice in Wonderland that's THX certified from 1997. One version will have the green FBA warning screens and the Walt Disney Company intro and a trailer for the re-release of The Little Mermaid and a trailer for Flubber. Then home video trailers for Beating the Beast, the Enchanted Christmas, Peter Pan, Hercules, and of course... The Toys Who Saved Christmas, 
and the Disney Interactive promo for Nightmare Ned on CD-ROM. That was from the Jungle Book VHS release that will also be on the Fully Restored Limited Edition VHS release of Alice in Wonderland from 1997. Then it would, then I would have the Fully Restored Limited Edition of Alice in Wonderland use the Wonderful World of Disney promo afterwards. And then the special preview bumper from the 1992, from later copies of the 1992 VHS release of Beauty and the Beast. Then I would have the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover on the 1997 fully restored limited edition Masterpiece Collection THX certified release of Alice in Wonderland. And, and... I will also have one version of the fully restored limited edition of Alice in Wonderland where after the feature presentation screen, it'll have the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo make a surprise appearance. Just like with early copies of the Pocahontas VHS, this can also apply with early copies of the 1997 fully restored limited edition VHS release of Alice in Wonderland that is THX certified. And then this would be one of the only instances where you can see the Walt Disney Classics logo be followed by the THX logo, the which is the Lucasfilm limited version that would be used for the fully restored limited edition of Alice in Wonderland. And then after that THX logo for Alice in Wonderland, I would have it go straight to the RKO logo without the Walt Disney Pictures logo preceding it. And then the film starts. So that would be for version one of Alice in Wonderland. Version two of, of, of that tape, I would have the same previews and everything as version one, except I would replace the Walt Disney Classics logo with the proper Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo for version two of the Fully Restored Limited Edition 1997 THX certified release of Alice in Wonderland. And for version three, I would have version three of the Fully Restored Limited Edition VHS release of Alice in Wonderland using a different re-release trailer for The Little Mermaid, just like with later copies of the 1997 VHS of The Jungle Book, and a different version of The Toys Who Save Christmas trailer with an alternate title reading How the Toys Save Christmas, also just like with later copies of The Jungle Book, 1997 VHS, for Alice in Wonderland. And then... I would also have later copies of Alice in Wonderland replace the Nightmare Ned on CD-ROM promo with the George of the Jungle trailer, just like with later copies of the 1997 VHS of the Jungle Book. And yeah, those would be the, those would be all three versions of the tape and how they would open up if Walt Disney Home Video Plan were, was going, if Walt Disney Home Video released the fully restored limited edition of Alice in Wonderland. But they didn't. But that's how I would imagine these three versions of the tape of Alice in Wonderland would open if the fully restored limited edition of Alice in Wonderland was released. And I would also imagine all three versions of the 1997 VHS of Alice in Wonderland closing with a trailer for the fully restored limited edition VHS of The Jungle Book right after the film Alice in Wonderland is over. Now, as for the print dates, I would have version one with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo making a surprise appearance before the THX logo, have print dates varying between July 21st and July, between July 21st and August 5th of 1997 be version number one and version number two I would have the print dates be between August 6th and August 
and August 24th of 1997, August 6th and August 26th, 1997 for version 2, and then for version 3, I would have the print dates varying between August 27th and October 8th of 1997. So, yeah. That's how I would imagine the VHS of Alice in Wonderland opening up with for the three different versions of the tape if Walt Disney Home Video did release the fully restored limited edition of Alice in Wonderland THX certified. But since that did not happen, oh well. What can you do? But anyway... And if there was a Laserdisc release of Alice in Wonderland from 1997, I would imagine that Laserdisc using the green FBI warning screens and the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it, then the THX Laserdisc logo and the RKO logo, then the film. So, that's how I would imagine the VHS of Alice in Wonderland, fully restored, limited edition, opening up with, with all three versions of the tape that I would imagine being used in the previews. Now, now we get into the 1998 releases. With the first Masterpiece Collection Edition released from 1998 being Hercules or Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. And here's the tape. Ink label, print dates, December 24th, 1997, even though this is a 1998 VHS. And this is actually the very first Masterpiece Collection release to use the updated green FBI warning screens from late 1997 to 2000. So this VHS of Hercules uses the late 1997 green FBI warning screens, and then of course the Walt Disney Company intro, and a theatrical trailer for Mulan, and then after that it's got home video trailers for The Little Mermaid, Belle's Magical World, Peter Pan, or Pizza Pan, 4000, and of course Flubber, and then the Lilac and then it's got the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen, which makes its final appearance on this VHS of Hercules. This is also this is also the last release in general, not just the last Masterpiece release, but the last release in general to contain the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen, which has Bo Weaver saying, thanks for joining us for this special preview. And now our feature presentation. And then, and then on this VHS of Hercules, after the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover, it's got the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, the green format screen, Walt Disney Pictures logo, and the film. I do not have the Laserdisc release of Hercules, but someone already uploaded the opening 
to the laser disc of Hercules, in which that VHS opened with the in which that laser disc opened with the green FBI warning screens from late 1997, then the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. And then the green format screen, 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and then the film. Next up, I have two different copies of the Masterpiece Collection Edition of Pita Pan 4000, the 45th Anniversary Limited Edition of Peter Pan, that is. Now, the front cover for the 45th Anniversary Limited Edition of Peter Pan is almost the same as the 30th anniversary limited edition VHS of the Jungle Book with the gold with the gold borders and everything and except that while the Jungle Book features pictures of Baloo, Mowgli, Bagheera, King Louie and Ka in the jungle, the VHS of Peter Pan has Wendy, John, Michael, Tinkerbell, and the title character, Peter Pan, flying in the sky with Captain Hook and a crocodile below the front cover with the THX logo aligned to the left side instead of the right side. And with the top of the cover saying fully restored 45th anniversary limited edition instead of fully restored 30th anniversary limited edition. And Here's the tape, ink label, print date is March 2nd, 1998. And this tape opens with the late 1997 Green FBI warning screens and the Walt Disney Company intro. Then after that, it's got home uh, theatrical trailer for Mulan. Then after this, it's got home video trailers for The Little Mermaid, Flubber, the Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars and Melody Time. And then the Stay Tuned After the Feature Bumper. And then it's got the Flash Bang feature presentation screen with Brian Cummings saying, And now, our feature presentation. Then after this, it has the 198... And then after this, it has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, the THX logo the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, the Art KO logo, and then the film. And here's this copy. Same casing, same label. Print date, March 4th, 1998. Opens the same way.
and I do not have the Laserdisc release of the little of Peter Pan from 1998, but I have the Classics Edition Laserdisc of the little of Peter Pan from 1990 that I will show you when I show you the Walt Disney Classics VHS and Laserdisc collection and split it into parts once the VHS of the Sword and the Stone comes, and I will gladly make the video of the Walt Disney Classics VHS and Laserdisc collection being split into parts, just like I'm doing with the Masterpiece Collection, right? Just like I'm doing right now with the Masterpiece Collection releases. And also, I wanted to mention something additional. Someone uploaded the, the Laserdisc opening to Peter Pan from 1998. And according to the video, the 1998 Laserdisc of Peter Pan opened with the late 1997 Green FBI Warrings, the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. THX Laserdisc logo, 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and the RKO logo, and then the film. Now I'm going to be showing you three different copies of the 1998 Masterpiece Collection Edition of The Little Mermaid. And the front cover for this VHS of The Little Mermaid looks similar to the Jungle Book and Peter Pan VHS releases because it still has the gold boulders, the gold borders around it, excuse me. But it has the letters fully restored special edition in purple letters, so it's not exactly like the Peter Pan and Jungle Book laser discs and VHS tapes from 1997 and 1998, respectively. And this, of course, uses the never-before-seen music video, Part of Your World, And it has the label with a print date of January 28, 1998. And this VHS copy of The Little Mermaid opens with the late 1997 Green FBI warning screens. And in a special Walt Disney Company intro with Jody Benson talking about certain releases that would be either coming to theaters would be and or would be coming to home video at the time with two talking goldfish two live action talking goldfish named Gil and Phil which are live action goldfish except it's slightly computer animated to make it look like the fish are talking and when Jody Benson talks about what's to come next, it shows theatrical trailers for Mulan and, of course, A Bug's Life and home video trailers for Melody Time, The Spirit of Mickey, Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, 
which is actually just called Pocahontas Journey to a New World on the VHS of The Little Mermaid in the trailer and Lady and the Tramp. Then after this, there's an exciting look at Disney's Magical Cruise Line Vacations and the Disney's One Saturday Morning promo on ABC. Then there's a special feature presentation screen where Phil and Grit were... Phil and Gil say, yeah, the shrimp will grab a seat, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And then after that, Jody Benson tells the viewer not to forget to stay tuned after the feature for the brand new music video, Part of Your World. And then after that, it goes straight to the THX logo and the green format screen, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, which is out of sync, just like with the 1991 Walt Disney Classics edition of The Rescuers Down Under. And then we go right to the film, The Little Mermaid. And of course, the music video part of your world is shown at the very end of the film during the credits. Here's this copy. Tape, print date, February 3rd, 1998. Opens the same way. Here's this printing. I've had this copy for the longest time ever since I was a child back in 2005 or 2006. Label print date is February 9th, 1998. Opens the same way. Now, someone on Internet Archive uploaded an audio track to the 1998 Laserdisc of The Little Mermaid, the full movie audio track, which also includes the program start before the film starts, in which the... The audio to the 1998 Laserdisc was uploaded, including the contents that come before the film. So, according to the video, this, according to the audio track, the silence is actually the late 1997 green FBI warning screens at the beginning, and you hear the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music after the Green FBI warnings. So that is the 1994 Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. And of course, then you hear the THX Laserdisc logo in the audio and the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo. And now I'm going to show you the 
third Masterpiece Collection Edition of Mary Poppins. This is the third Masterpiece Collection Edition of Mary Poppins from 1998. Here it is. The 1998 VHS cover looks like a hybrid of the 1994 and 1997 VHS covers because it's got the same cover design that says Mary Poppins with a picture of Mary Poppins and stuff that says fully restored, just like the 1997 VHS release, and it's THX certified. But it's also got the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo on the front cover that looks more like a 1994 VHS release, even though it's a 1998 VHS release. This also happens with the Masterpiece Collection edition of Melody Time, Here's the tape. Print date is April 3rd, 1999. So this is a 1999 reprint of the 1998 VHS release. And this VHS of Mary Poppins opens with the late 1997 green FBI warning screens, then the 1991 gold Walt Disney Home Video logo with black background, the now available to own a video cassette screen, which is the flashbang now available to own on video cassette screen, that is. Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo. And the coming soon to own on video cassette screen and a pre for Madeline Lost in Paris. Then the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with the original Mark Elliott voiceover. Where he goes, and now our feature presentation. Then it's got the 19, then it's got the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, the green format screen, the THX logo, 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and the film. So, yeah, that's the 1999 reprint of the 1998 VHS release. And now, now I'm going to show you two different copies of the two different copies of the nineteen ninety eight. Masterpiece Collection VHS release of The Black Cauldron. First, we'll look at this copy. And... It's a tape with the ink label. Print date is June 28, 1998. And this copy opens with the late 1997 Green FBI warning screens, the 1991 gold Walt Disney Home Video logo with black background, the coming the flashbang coming soon to theater screen, and a theatrical trailer for a bug's life. Then after that, it's got the Flashbang now available to own on video cassette screen and a preview for Meet the Deedles. Then the Flashbang coming soon the video cause coming soon to own on video cassette screen with previews for Kiki's Delivery Service, Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, Lady and the Tramp, and The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. And then this has the black and blue feature program screen. And the Green format screen, the original 1985 Walt Disney Pictures logo, which this is the first film to use that logo, believe it or not. And we go to the film. Here's this copy. 
It's got the same casing, same label, print date of July 2nd, 1998, and this opens the exact same way. And there are later copies of this VHS that open with the flashbang feature presentation screen or that use the flashbang feature presentation screen and the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. But, but both of my copies have the feature program bumper on it without the Masterpiece Collection logo since this, these two are early copies. I'm going to show you two different VHS copies of the Masterpiece Collection Edition of Raining the Tramp. Here they are. First, we'll look at this copy. Packaging's the same. No, I didn't mean to say packaging's the same. Excuse me about that. I'll say that when I look at the other copy. But anyway, this is a 1998 Masterpiece Collection fully restored limited edition VHS of Lady and the Tramp. This has an ink label with a print date of July 27, 1998. And this copy uses the late 1997 Green FBI warning screens, the Walt Disney Company intro. Then after this, it's got a theatrical trailer for A Bug's Life, and then it's got home video trailers for The Jungle Book, Mowgli's Story, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, The Rescuers, and Summer of the Monkeys. Then it has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo and the Disney's One Saturday Morning promo, and then the Stay Tuned After the Feature bumper for a special message, then the Flash Bang feature presentation screen, and the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, the THX logo, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, the Buena Vista logo, and the film. And here's this copy. Packaging is the same. This is a dark sticker label this time, and the print date is August 11th, 1998, and it opens the same way. And the very last Masterpiece Collection Laserdisc that I have is this Laserdisc of Lightning the Tramp from 1998, the widescreen. Laser disc from 1998, in which this laser disc copy of Lady and the Tramp opens with the late 1997 Green FBI warning screens, and then it's and then this has the 1991 gold Walt Disney Home Video logo with the black background. Then it's got the THX 
Laserdisc logo, 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, Buena Vista logo, and the film. And there are some Laserdisc copies of Lady and the Tramp that have the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo with the distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it, but not this copy of Lady and the Tramp. This one has the gold Walt Disney Home Video logo with black background instead. And that's it for part three. Stay tuned for part four, which will look at the 1999 releases from the Masterpiece Collection. Stay tuned for that.